That's what I'd call a poor assessment of the situation, Colonel. The embarrassing thing is that I myself now have the same problem. So, Yorick, I'd like to ask for some advice. To take or not to take. Yorick? Who the fuck is Yorick? But if you ask me, I wouldn't take it. You took care of him really well, man. Now let's get this shit back into the rock and get out of here. You're still making nice plans for me, Bruce. I was almost afraid that I wouldn't have any more work to do. Yeah, we'll take control of their ship. And then let's go somewhere together and get wasted. You betcha. And this will be a piece of cake. They were in such a hurry to go after you, bro, so you could bump them off that they left the capsule completely unattended. Not a living soul anywhere. They didn't post any guards. They're total lamers. Stupid, incompetent grunts. I have it under control. Hey, wait a minute. I'll just have another quick look at the coordinate. Oh, oh, the back room. Bruce? Fuck. You did it! Oh, I knew you would, Arnie. I believed in you the whole time. You're the best of them all. Olivia. You know, I kept asking myself who came in that ship. But otherwise, you're right. That's for sure. I'm number one. All I have to do now is take Gloma's heart, and I can become ruler of the world at the drop of a hat. I always loved your sense of humor, Arnie. After all, you don't want the heart. You don't need Glomar for anything. You're good enough even without it. Warren warned you, right? That's why you let Olivier help himself? Warren figured out that the heart would do terrible things to a man. No. No? Au contraire, sweetheart. He told me something completely different. Uh, but that's precisely why I tried to make Olivier believe that Glomar would destroy him. That's the great weakness of all megalomaniac plans. That goddamn human imagination. The heart arranges things precisely according to what someone expects from it. That's all. There's nothing else to it. You should realize that I've just saved you from a really nasty situation, Livia. If you'd taken the heart without thinking beforehand, some foolish wish would certainly have crossed your mind. And what did you wish for? You don't know, sweetheart. You don't feel it. There were days when you knew exactly what I... wanted. Maybe I... still remember quite enough of this. No, nothing, nothing like, like that, that could be detected. detected. Traces, Traces of the body are in the upper limits, but within the norm. For a man who is exposed to the radiation of a body in mind, it's completely natural. I'm not interested in that. There's a piece of a body in his body, and I want to get it out. Well, of course, technically speaking, an autopsy is not a problem. But as far as I know, company management don't want... I don't give a damn about what somebody does or doesn't want. I'm now in charge here. This is just what I said, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, like to. If you wouldn't like, like to, then don't. don't. Get, get everything, everything ready for the autopsy, Dr. Morrison. Morrison. Now, now get, get out. out. Yes, of course, sir. Ugh, oh, idiots! Why, Why is everybody so incompetent? Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. You bastard. You're dead. Dead. No signs of life. So why can't I get this damn heart out? You know, I have a fucking horrible feeling that you duped me. For a while there, I really thought that you wanted me. Trust me. Can you believe that? But you, you're such an old, cynical bastard. You probably wouldn't mind if things were worked out, eh? But you've got too many tricks up your sleeve to waste your magic wish fooling around me. Well, it didn't work out for you anyway, honey. 
I'll, I'll get, get that, that heart, heart, even if I have to cut you up into tiny little pieces. Dr. Morrison, I turned off the cryobox. Come for the body, we shall start immediately. <laughs>